Hey, how's it going? Uh, this is sort of a, a video log, if you will, uh, for the build. Uh, so, so far, uh, I have the clock module, and we have the single stepping function, right? So we can pulse the clock manually. And we have the A register, the B register, and the ALU, right? The ALU has sort of a register. It's not really a register, but a place where we can see the result that's stored in the ALU, right? So it stores the value, but it isn't actually a register, but, you know, we can call it the sum register or whatever. And I hooked up this small uh, bus sort of thing. So we have these LEDs, which will tell us what's exactly on the bus. And it's connected to the ALU, the A register, and the B register. And we have these wires, which can let us uh, put any random value on the bus. Uh, so if you turn it on, right, uh, the registers start up with any random value. Oh, by the way, I uh, created these small LEDs uh, from LED bars, right? So we can see what's on the bus, uh, what's on the registers. Uh, so it's much cleaner than these LEDs and less uh, less of a pain to deal with generally. So I decided to just create more of these, but I need to buy some because I only have like two and I used them already. Um, so yeah, uh, currently uh, there's nothing on the bus, right? So nothing is uh, is putting anything out on the bus so all of these uh, are tied uh, high right so the out the output uh, of the registers and the ELU is set to high so the value of the LEDs just defaults to uh, you know you can't really determine what it is because all of these transceivers right these are set to a uh, high impedance mode so you know it could be anything uh, it's not really a zero or one it's pretty much disconnected right so these inputs are pretty much floating but if we take the uh, the these wires and we connect them high or low we get a, a definitive glow for the led or if i tie it low right we get a definite dim right so we can now just connect all of these to zero uh, or like low we can connect them low who says zero it's called low anyway uh yeah so we can just tie all these wires low right so we just we're pretty much outputting uh, i guess i said zero because i meant we're loading the value of zero onto the bus um so we're going to do that now just need to pause because i accidentally moved the capacitor i'm uh, back uh so i'm connecting essentially just all these wires low uh and yeah yeah so there we have them all low uh so the bus currently has a value of zero on it and if we uh take this load pin so the the b register is loading whatever is on the bus but it hasn't loaded anything yet because the clock didn't pulse so if we pulse the clock once and let's just get this to focus if we pause the clock once the uh the b register is now zero right so what we want to do is we want to load the value of one to the register so we can just put one on the bus uh so it would be this yellow wire no the the, the orange wire um yeah and yeah it's working this led is just it's not working for some reason uh maybe the wire here. Yeah, so now we have one on, on the B register and we have all uh, all ones on the uh, on the A register. So we could now just clear the A register. This is also another way of loading zero into the register. And now it's not loading anything, right? But what we can do now is since, you know, we can set the, the B register to not load anything. So it would always have a fixed value of one. And we can set the B register, the A register, to always load whatever is on the bus, and we can just connect, disconnect these wires so that we don't short anything out, right? So now the bus is going to have, after we do this, right? So so now we have the to uh, set the ALU to always output whatever it has on the bus, and for some reason this LED isn't working. I swear it was just working. Uh, it's probably just a bad connection or something. Um, stop budging things anyway um so yeah now if we now we're loading whatever is on the bus into the a register and whatever is in the alu we're outputting it to the bus so now whatever is in the alu should be output to the a register uh since the a register is loading and the and the um uh, and the alu is uh is outputting whatever it has um so yeah uh now if i cl if i pause the clock yeah, this is what happened. The one uh, in here went to the A register, and the uh, ELU is now adding one plus one, so it's two. 
And if we pulse again, we get three because the one here is fixed and it's and the result of the LU is going to the A register. So basically we've built a really overcomplicated um, counter. So this is basically counting now. So I just need to focus on the LEDs here. Uh, if I keep, yeah, it's much better this way. If I keep pulsing, look, oh, come on. Yeah, there, I locked it. Uh, so I, if I keep pulsing this clock, I just get a counter. Um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much the progress so far. Uh, the project is going fine. Uh, it's pretty fun to build, but yeah, uh, I just need to build more of these LEDs to get rid of these uh, uh, LEDs at the top and have more of these clean bars. But yeah, we pretty much have a very overly complicated counter now, but it's working, I guess. Uh, I hope to make more of these video blogs, but video logs or whatever they're called. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it for now. See ya.